Hello everybody, I wanted to uh, run a few things by y'all about this LG 36,000 BTU Smart Inverter. It's been um, awesome. Um, I've been running it about three months now. Um, it does power off completely whenever all the indoor units um, reach temperature and, you know, uh, shuts off it will shut completely off up out here. Sorry um, It also go the fan goes down and back up to save energy um, That's the way it was designed um, But it will it will shut completely off if all the indoor units are at a set temperature um, It's extremely quiet uh, I can't even you know believe how quiet it is um but uh that's it i've got three um three indoor units on the inside and that's it um not bad uh, these pipes are easy to bend don't get discouraged about all the stuff online about crimping these lines and bending them um, it was it was easy um, now the, the the big five eights that I had to run to the 18,000 BTU on the inside it was kind of tough to bend it just because it was it was so thick but as far as like crimping it or anything like that I mean like all these in here I'll just and this is a foot y'all this is 12 inches um i was able to just bend it in there no problem okay now let's go on the inside and i'll show y'all inside units because there were some things i wanted to tell y'all too when y'all have these systems installed don't be alarmed i actually called the company back the next day and i was like something is wrong um, with the units, okay. Um, these units are designed to be as quiet and out of the way as possible, which means it's just heavily computerized, okay. So, <clears throat> like when you set it to 74 because this winter time here and i've been running the heat the past three or four months it heats awesome okay like it's it takes half a minute to be like okay you want it at this temperature then it slowly ramps its way up okay it's not just gonna blast on like the old air conditioners or central heat and air it's designed to be as quiet as possible so it slowly ramps up and then it starts going okay also another thing with these units is the heat output it controls that too because sometimes it would be on and i would when i first got it i'd stick my hand i'd be like oh my gosh it's 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 not blowing like blazing hot air well it's designed to control the heat levels too so this this thing is just trying to be out of the way nonchalant as possible so whenever you have one installed just keep that in mind and it's a little bit of a learning curve but don't get me wrong these things work awesome also the temperature up there forget that do it by the feel of the room okay i got it set at 74 this is another thing that i called the company about I was like, it, it's not, the, the temperature's not right, okay? Come over here to the remote and you hit the room temp. It's 70, okay? And that's the way these units work. It's just, you, 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 this, also this, this does not control, have anything to do with control on the head unit. This is just a thermostat to tell you what the actual temperature is and you can see I have it set to 74 but the actual temperature is 70 
Yeah, maybe 74 up there. I don't know. But just go by the feel of the room. Forget forget the number up there. Um, okay. Let me go to the next thing. The This house is poorly, in, poorly insulated. Um, it's a lot better now. But I was going through the, the last winters. I was going through 75 gallons a month in propane. Also, I was running the little 1500 watt space heaters. I was running them in all these other rooms. That's done with. The propane's done with. I haven't had to call them this winter. Okay, which is a lot. It was like $200 for 100, 100 gallons of propane. And I was using about 75 a month in this house. That 18,000 BTU LG heats all this which is a big a big room okay and it also heats up here it also heats in there heats in here no problem um what else uh feels like i'm forgetting something um Sorry, yes. Kind of, um, yeah, see, so, you know, this this one's. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember what I'm going to go through. This one's doing the bathroom. And, of course, it's blowing now. Um, these things are just amazing. Uh, I, I can't say enough about them. It is hot. Um, it has gotten down to 19, and these things just kept on rocking on don't be um don't be discouraged by the all the temperature stuff you read online it's been 19 degrees several days and these things have kept this house which is blazing cold in the winter chillingly cold in the winter they have kept this house warm um i remember what I was going to tell y'all now that I had to call this company about. You see this right there? That is not defrost. I, good golly, I was uh, freaking out. I was like, this thing's going into defrost mode. Um, because all the other three units were showing that. And uh, I was like, the Freon's not right. The, the unit's not working. It's, they're all going into defrost. And that is just the heat, standby heat. That little symbol with the teardrop. The standby heat. Um, that has, it doesn't even tell you that it's in defrost, which it has gone in defrost mode outside. Then when it cuts on, it's blowing. It goes away. But then when it when it reaches the set temperature that that teardrop symbol will come back okay so that was that was another important thing my electric bill this month which i've been running it non-stop uh, i've got two nine thousand btu indoor units and then this one eighteen thousand um my electric bill was 183 it was the past years running all the 1500 watt space heaters through the house it was averaging 190. okay that's cheaper and it's heating the heating the house up way better also i'm not paying for 100 gallons of propane every month and a half so that's saving two you know 200 something dollars every month and a half during the winter so these things work well and i want i wanted to tell you all that um there's a few things that freaked me out in the beginning um, because i'm used to the the old stuff the old units and the central units that just cut on they blast and then they shut off and the, it's just it's these things are heavily computerized it takes a little bit of learning curve uh, but they work extremely well extremely extremely well um but anyway that's about it guys 
Um, I'm very happy with the, the LG Smart Inverter Dual Inverter 36,000 BTU Mini Split. Y'all, have a good one. Say bye to my cat, Scooby. All right, take it easy.